Hello, 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 here is Dr. Wild again talking about different topics on science. Remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hms.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wild which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery, awards, and achievement. The article to review today is Core Values. This article is gonna be talking about Elizabeth Howell, she's a gynecologist. Alright, so I'm gonna start straight away this beautiful article. Elizabeth Howell is thrilled to be in her new jobs as chair of obstetrics and gynecologist at the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine. That is, she's going to continue her life work to reduce maternal morbidity and mortality in women of color. And that is, she's going to write the next chapter of her story for that she has some big plans for reaching plans that include setting equity goals to reduce their disappearance in several maternal morbidity and mortality and improving the quality of care for women of color particularly black women From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind to everyone who's listening to Dr. Wild in this beautiful podcast is that we do these reviews mostly days. I will continue doing the review. Surprisingly, this new chief of OB gynecologist at the major medical school at Miss the Hope of Gynecology was not her first love, but she adds it has been the enduring one. Early on, women have appealed to her job feminist learnings, and while working on her master in public policy at the Harvard Kennedy School, she said she became immersed in what she is not now in social determinants of health, such as housing and education. How well rotation in maternal fetal medicine also knows a high risk of obstetrics, so did her commitment to the discipline and she said made me realize that this way a way I could combine my skills and really work in a file. For someone who failed on her first day in the labor and delivery room this is saying something. Howell fondly recalled her Harvard Medical School mentors during her medical student years, including William Silent, Ronald Arkey, Frederick Mandel, and Judy Ann Bigley. And she credits Harvard Medical School for each student requirement, which exposed her to what she calls spur mentors. Even back then, Harvard was spurring in diversity and not just racial and ethnic diversity. I'm talking about interest, people who would like push the file. Howell was herself push her file in ways to have surprised her. For years she was writing journal articles and conducting research on these peers in maternal health and mortality under the radar. Then around the time professional tennis player Serena Williams was having pregnancy complications. Along come with media attention and the invitation to deliver a TechMed talk. She reflects on the irony saying that things that have the greatest potential to move the file don't necessarily get accepted at the best journals. Howell said she knew from the early age that her career was always going to be socially relevant either with people or methods on data. Her parents she has instilled in her values and equal opportunity for all. The importance of those values is exceptionally clear today as the COVID-19 pandemic exhausts unequal tolls on black and brown people. For Howell it is direct parallel to the lack of attention paid on maternal health disability for years. These communications, she say, share a common three. They are not listened and not taken seriously. A 
as good that she might have than if she doesn't become a physician. How well muses that she considered becoming a civil rights attorney like her father, but she harbors not doubts about the path she chose and savored the long art of her journey. Alright guys, this is a really really quickly study of Elizabeth Howell. Remember that she is a chair of the Department of Obstetric and Gynecology Experiment School of Medicine, senior fellow at Leonard Davis Institute, University of Pennsylvania. This beautiful article, which is remember the title Core Values, has been posed by Susan Carr, she is associate editor of Harvard Medicine Magazine. Alright guys, see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.